Bamboo Lab has been making big waves since their debut in the 3D printing industry just a short time ago. And with this upcoming announcement, they look poised to rock the boat again. Colorful 3D printing for everyone is a tagline that immediately grabbed my attention. It reminds me of when their flagship X1 Carbon was first released on Kickstarter, with innovative features like LiDAR scanning and an integrated multi-material unit. I immediately knew it was a gamble worth taking, and it looks like I bet on the right horse, because my two Kickstarter units are still going strong, and two new friends have since joined them. Besides the insane speeds and stellar print quality, the one thing I like most about my bamboo printers is the automated material system. Simply load the spools, select the inputs, and beautiful multicolor prints are produced with ease. Prior to the AMS, I was doing multicolor prints with the Mosaic Palette line of products. First the Palette 2, and later the Palette 3. These devices still have a place in my workflow, but the AMS is always my go-to. The Palette 3 just doesn't have the same ease of use or reliability as the AMS, and the price tag is considerably higher. My old Palette 2 sees more use thanks to its compatibility with Clipper firmware, but it only has four inputs as compared to the eight of the Palette 3 or a dual AMS setup. Other solutions exist for multi-material printing, but they require extensive and often complicated assembly, have a larger operating footprint, and are generally less user-friendly. The only bad thing I can say about the bamboo is that the AMS is only compatible with bamboo printers. Until now. Maybe. So let's dissect this thing and see what might be hiding behind the shadows. But before we proceed, let me make one thing perfectly clear. What follows is highly hypothetical. It's unbridled excitement sprinkled with a few educated guesses. Working from this single image, I reverse engineered it to produce a concept design for what I believe this device could be. A universally compatible filament multiplexer. It allows the Bamboo AMS to be used on non-Bamboo Lab printers. Prusa, Voron, Creality, colorful 3D printing for everyone. It brings the ease of use of the AMS to the masses. So here's the breakdown. It has two inputs for up to two AMSs, and a single output that feeds to your extruder of choice. Internally, there is a filament sensor and a pancake stepper motor to drive the filament forward. This here is a viewing window for the drive gear, and this is an idler arm to relieve tension on the filament if necessary. On the right, we have a filament cutter, which will be actuated before switching to a new color. Note that the cutter is on the right-hand side of this device, rather than the left as on the bamboo printhead. The multiplexer will be mounted to the frame of the printer, in a position where the printhead can reach it. The exact position will vary from printer to printer, with custom mounts being required in some cases. Before a filament change, the printhead will move towards the multiplexer in order to actuate the cutter, after which the filament will be retracted into the AMS and replaced by a new one. The distance between the cutter and the extruder will be much longer than on the bamboo printhead. The cut will thus need to happen ahead of time in anticipation of an upcoming filament swap. The filament remaining in the tube will then be consumed before a new filament enters and the printer moves to the purge tower. Without a poop chute, all of the purge will need to go on the tower, making it much larger than on the bamboo printers. So those are the basic mechanics. What about connectivity? Connections will need to be made between the multiplexer and the first AMS, with the second AMS connected in series. The multiplexer will have a processor on board to handle the communication with the AMS and a Wi-Fi chip to receive print jobs uploaded from Bamboo Studio. In this way, the multiplexer will also play the role of a print host. It can receive G-code from Bamboo Studio and relay that to the printer. It will therefore also need to be connected to the printer via USB. So that's my leading theory on what this device could be. Others have speculated that this will be a complete extruder hot-end assembly, but that seems unlikely to me for the following reasons. If this were the case, it would make more sense just to repurpose the existing X1 Carbon or P1P toolhead, not redesign it from scratch, as this would save cost and manufacturing complexity. Based on this image, this bears little resemblance to Bamboo's existing printhead design. There does not appear to be a fan, which would be required for part cooling if this were a printhead. Different printers have different mounting requirements for the printhead. Some have linear rails, some have carbon rods, and others have V-slot rollers. In order to equip a third-party printer with a bamboo printhead, 
there would have to be multiple different printer-specific carriage designs, which doesn't seem very efficient. Other rumors surrounding this announcement have been derived from the contents of patents filed by Bamboo Lab. One in particular has some potential similarities to the device they've teased. However, I don't think it's related. This appears to be an alternate design for a multi-AMS hub. It has four inlets for four AMSs and two outlets, potentially indicating that Bamboo is working on an IDEX printer. The outlet selection is controlled by an electromagnet, which changes the position of the central funnel. So pretty cool, but seemingly unrelated to the upcoming announcement. Bamboo has also released a second teaser image. One might infer that this is related to the first, and therefore provides additional insight into what this could be. However, in my opinion, this appears to be a separate device entirely, one that is designed for Bamboo's own printers. I'm speculating that this is some sort of noise-canceling device that works similarly to noise-canceling headphones. It has a microphone on board to monitor the noise being generated by the printer, then plays back a tone of equal frequency, but with a phase shift, such that the amplitude of the noise is diminished and the two sound waves overlap. If this is the case, I think this would be a very smart move by Bamboo. One of the biggest and only complaints about their printers is that they're loud. This alone might be a reason for a potential customer to opt for a printer from a different brand. With a noise cancelling device, they may be able to reclaim some of that market without compromising on print speeds or needing to re-engineer their printers. So that's my take on the upcoming announcement. What do you think? Am I close or way off? And what are you hoping to see? One thing's for sure, and that's that Bamboo shows no signs of slowing down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content. My name's Taylor, this is YGK3D, and until next time, happy 3D printing.